Yo, what's up everyone? My name is Andrew Warren and in today's video, we're going to be talking about Tesla stock because as you can see, we have hit another all-time high for today. It's currently almost at 7% in gains just for Tesla alone. The portfolio is at plus 4.64%. That's almost $6,000 in gains. So this has been a huge day for Tesla. And like I said, this is another all-time high. This is the third all-time high for Tesla in just the past week. And just over these past few days, we've had five days straight of really solid green days. And then yesterday, we finally had a red day. And it was starting to look like maybe that was the end of this growth streak. And of course, it stopped the streak. But once again, we have resumed today at plus 7%. Now it's over 7%. So yesterday kind of made it seem like this was the end of another growth section for Tesla. But I guess that's not the case this time. I honestly feel like we could see another positive day tomorrow. Like I say in these videos, now it's going to be a little bit more likely if it's plus 13%. If it was plus 13%, I would pretty much say, okay, yeah, tomorrow's going to be a green day for Tesla. But I've noticed a consistency, and I've mentioned this in previous videos, that with Tesla, there's commonly a consistency of multiple days of really solid growth if the first day is super far into the green. And as we know, this is one of the more notable characteristics of Tesla stock in which it has a really far into the green day. So we're talking like plus 17%. I think one time it was like plus 20% or something like that at one point. And then we've had days at plus 13, plus 15%. So today is a plus 7%. Still an absolutely excellent day for pretty much any stock that you could think of. I would love to have a 7% gain like this all the time. So this is a very rare occurrence in the stock market for the larger value stocks on its own. But considering the fact that we've had such a huge growth day for Tesla, I feel like I wouldn't be surprised if we saw another day like this tomorrow. Now, it might not be as far as plus 7%, but we could see like plus two to four percent maybe even five percent and obviously this is just something that i'm kind of guessing off of the top of my head this is not guaranteed tomorrow could actually be another red day for tesla but honestly i feel like it's more likely that we get a, another green day just because it feels like the the bullish perspective on this has reignited after yesterday's red day and also i would say the fact that voo and nasdaq are both in the green today as well is also helping because when the general stock market is doing well and a lot of the popular stocks are doing well of course it's going to help ignite that growth even more for tesla if it's already having a really good day so like i said this has been a fantastic day for tesla and as always if you all do enjoy these videos about tesla stock please make sure to smash that like button almost forgot to put that at the beginning but just addressing this one this has been an amazing day it's an all-time high and it's even better because at the end of the day we're nearing the peak of the whole day it's not like the midsection of today's growth was the peak we're actually going higher and higher and higher until the end of the day now we might not end up reaching this point at 310 but the fact that it's continuing to gradually increase over time until the end of the day that's one of the best days in the stock market that you can have so i'm really happy to see this happening the same thing's happening with the portfolio right now and also i will be addressing the portfolio in another video and I do have some news on some purchases I made recently. So that's something nice as well. It's been like one or two months since I've purchased a stock. But just addressing Tesla, like I said, I think people are starting to realize this more and more. As the stock grows in value, it's getting investors to actually look into the stock. You know, beforehand, they would have just wrote it off as a fluke or said these people are way too bullish and then comparing it to other stocks in the past that have shot up and then pretty much spiked back down to where it was at previously. Now, I don't think that's the case with Tesla, but that's what a lot of Tesla bears have said beforehand or people that just weren't knowledgeable on Tesla. And I think with this, people are finally understanding why there is hype behind this stock. Just this most recent movement alone, I think it's gotten people to look into the stock more than they have previously. Because at this point, if you're seeing like plus over 35% just from August 11th and on, then that's getting people to question, okay, what is going on with this stock? I understand the stock split, but why do people find so much value in this one? And as they start to do more research, they realize Tesla is more than an automotive company. It's not just about cars for them. It's about energy. It's about solar panels, batteries, large-scale battery projects, software as a service with the things that you can buy digitally in Tesla. You can also buy over-the-air upgrades for like $2,000. So that's another huge revenue opportunity for Tesla. Then they're also operating on declining cost curves. They have an advantage against the competition right now. Many other major automotive producers have said that they're two years behind Tesla, just like Volkswagen and Audi. 
So at this point, I think people are finally starting to look at this stock, take it a little bit serious as they're starting to see analysts look at it and upgrade the price targets as well. So it's getting people that would normally just ride off Tesla and say, this stock is a fluke. It's just hyped up right now. And it's actually getting them to look more into the company. And I think a lot of people, as they do that, are realizing the value that they're seeing in Tesla and why other people have been buying it way far before they have. So like I said, the stock split 100% has most to do with this most recent growth. If anything, there was a lot of hype because of the stock split at the, at the beginning, and then a lot of that hype drove the stock up even more because as the stock price increased, people didn't want to miss out. They want to get in on Tesla. Keep in mind, it's not only just fear of missing out. There's also just people that have always wanted to get in on Tesla, and I think they're slowly realizing that waiting on a pullback for Tesla may not be the best idea. It's pretty much like playing a short position on Tesla. It doesn't really work out in your favor that often. Yes, we've had pullbacks in the past and things like that, and eventually we'll get one for this share price after we see all of this growth happen. But my point here is, is that people are starting to realize the value behind this stock. And it's not only just other people having a fear of missing out as well. It's the fact that they've always wanted to get in on it and they just finally decided to. I think that's what's happening as well. So in comparison of just the normal fear of missing out where people aren't really knowledgeable on the stock and they just buy it and want to get in on it, I think people are starting to actually do research on Tesla. And most of the people buying in right now were probably already interested in Tesla anyways. Keep in mind, a lot of short position people probably just don't want to buy Tesla out of spite. So the people buying this right now are likely going to be holding it for the long term. And another good sign for us as long-term investors is that the people buying at $2,000 are most likely looking at the long-term perspective as well. Because if you're paying this price right now, you pretty much have to be thinking long-term. Because as I said, there could be a pullback or something like that in the short term. And there's a lot of risk playing Tesla in the short term. So buying it at a premium right now, as we know, Tesla is pretty expensive. I'm not saying it's not worth it, but what I'm saying here is most of the people likely buying at 2000 are probably buying for the long term rather than just simply being short term investors that want to swing trade it or something like that. And my point for that is just because you take on a lot of risk if you're spending $2,000 for one share of Tesla just for making short term gains. That's a lot of risk just for some potential short term gains. So I think the people buying this may be mostly long term investors. Investors. And for someone like myself that's a long-term investor, that's a good thing because that means my fellow investors likely won't be selling their shares anytime soon, which makes the stock shares a little bit more rare, I guess you could say. You could say there would be more people buying in that scenario than selling, which is always good because that drives the stock price up. So my point here is, if people are buying at $2,000, they are probably long-term investors if they know what they're doing. So that's a good thing, and I'm really excited about this. And I honestly can't even imagine what it's going to look like after the stock split. I'm really wondering at this point if we're going to see even more growth after the split happens. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised because as I said, people are seeing the hype right now. Think about the people that don't have the money to get in on Tesla right now and they're waiting on the stock split to get in. You know, it like feels so bad for them because they've been wanting to get in on Tesla for so long and they were probably expecting it to be like $300, $330 for the stock split. And after this, it's probably going to be like more near $400 for those people wanting to get in on it. So keep in mind, there's a lot of people that are probably eager to get in on Tesla after the stock split because they're seeing it go up so much in a time period right now where they're waiting to buy it but they can't buy it because they don't have access to fractional shares so keep in mind all of these psychological factors going on as well and I'm just really excited to see what happens in the future because like I said there's a lot going on with Tesla just over the next few months alone as we know we have the possibility of S&P 500 inclusion we have battery investor day on September 22nd then it's untelling what kind of other news pieces will be released on Tesla just over this next year or so then we have the Cybertruck coming out in late 2021 so there's going to be a lot of hype around that we've already talked about the potential pre-order numbers and this is expected to be the biggest vehicle ever for Tesla and so so we are starting to see this value being represented in Tesla even more as people start to look farther into the future, see the potential of the growth in this company. And not only is it growth in the vehicle sector of this business, but also energy sectors like solar power, battery, stuff like that. And at this point, it's likely that other vehicle companies will have to order batteries from Tesla for their own cars. So that's going to be another situation as well where Tesla is in an advantage position for gaining some money. But anyways, it's about three minutes till 4 p.m. and we are starting to see a slight dip 
ship. That's pretty normal though. Within the last few minutes of the day and especially the last hour, that's when you really start to see the drastic movement. So we're seeing a slight dip right here. It may end up being under 2,000, but as you can see right there, it's at 2,000 exactly. That was pretty satisfying. But anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to smash that like button. And also, feel free to sign up to Robinhood and Weeble in the description below. If you sign up with my link, you'll get some free stocks. And with Weeble, if you use my link and deposit $100, you'll get two free stocks. So that's a nice passive income. But I hope you all enjoyed this video, and I hope you have a fantastic rest of your week.